Hi everybody, Ward Stair here. I'm really excited to come to Houston this week to perform with Rocco. We've got a great program for you. We've got a piece by Patrick Harlan called Shadow Dancer, which is uh, inspired by dance, but of course it's an entirely musical experience. And the thing to, to really look out for in this piece and listen for is the way Patrick plays with the audience's perception of time. It's really cool, it's very fun, uh, and the entire piece uh, being inspired by movement and dancers is, is really kinetic in its feel and extremely exciting. Uh, we also have a piece that's very different by Della Piccola, which uh, combines kind of two eras, music from hundreds of years ago um, with a more modern voice. So we, we get sort of um, the ghosts of the past uh, viewed through a more modern lens and the fusion of those two um, aesthetics is, is very cool. It's hauntingly beautiful, features a violin solo, um, and it's, it's a really wonderful work uh, that I think is gonna fit perfectly into this program. Um, we have a world premiere on the program by Alyssa Morris, uh, and it's a wonderful piece that's inspired by Gerald McDermott's uh, book, The Musicians of the Sun, which uh, tells the Aztec legend of how the world got its color. And because it's about color and light, Alyssa uses a lot of great harmonic techniques, uh, different modes, a lot of different timbres, um, and of course, four woodwind solos, four great woodwind solos from Rocco, um, to be the main characters sort of uh, in this story. Um, and give us a really multi-sensory experience uh, and I think a vivid telling of this, uh, this really beautiful Aztec legend. Um, so it's always exciting to do a world premiere and especially uh, a really good piece like this. I can't wait to perform it for you. Um, we're gonna round things out with a great piece by Haydn. You've heard of him, right? Uh, he wrote, of course, many, many symphonies. This is his 101st symphony. It's nicknamed The Clock, but of course, uh, Haydn wasn't thinking about that nickname at all when he was composing the piece. But when you hear it, you'll know why it got that, uh, that name, the second movement, the tick-tock. It's pretty obvious, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but the piece is much more than that. It's, it's really, um, you know, Haydn at the absolute height of his powers. Uh, he was um, in London for the second time, uh, really, um, excited and motivated by his first triumphant trip to London and so this was his second trip um, part of what's known as the London symphonies and the first movement um, opens with kind of a somber uh, beginning and then launches right into a, a presto of Vivace, a, a fast moving section that you would normally hear in a finale um, but it's right at the beginning of the piece and then of course we have the, the tick-tock, the clock, the, the wonderfully inventive second movement. The third movement um, is actually his most extensive minuet, the, the longest one that he ever wrote, and it's full of wonderful, charming folk references, um, melodies, um, inside jokes, all sorts of great human spirit, which is one of the hallmarks of Haydn's music. And then of course the last movement is, um, is very vigorous and rousing and um, wraps things up in, a, in just a tremendously satisfying way. Uh, and I know that you'll you'll love it too. And even though it's called the clock, and even though we think about time a lot in many different ways on this program, uh, I like to think that a piece like Haydn 101 is really, in fact, timeless. Um, and I, I love that it's on this program, and I think it fits wonderfully alongside these uh, these other great works. And I cannot wait to perform them for you this week. So uh, look forward to seeing you soon, and uh, thank you.